Hey everybody, Charlie Nair 2 here and welcome back to the case of the Golden Idol. We last left off, this guy out here is uh, not doing so hot. We're going to try to figure out uh, what's happening to him. Seems to be one of the pair brothers. One of the pair brothers did make fun of a fat lord. Somebody with a hat. Do you have a hat? You do, it's a tricorn. But you're the guy who seems to have made this guy explode. Who are you? Are you the fat lord? What's on the ground? There's a sword. Two sticks, don't know what those are. All right, what's on the table? Nicholas Maker, attorney. Okay, you're probably Nicholas Maker, the attorney. I would not have expected one of your family to treat a legal document in such a way. I'm appalled. Also a ring with a ruby. Till shillings and a pence. Oh, what is this? Reading of the last will and testament of Sebastian Cloudsley, September 7, 1786. Albert Cloudsley, Mary Cloudsley, Rose Cubert, Beatrix Batley. He's married to Peter Batley. Four inheritors are all present. Well, the only female name is Rose. So even though we're in the Batley house, it sure looks like that's Rose Cubert. Hubert's it's a palmetto tree. My apologies, he can be so bad here. What is... I'm going to look up that word. I don't know what that word means. Bad here. Bad here meaning in English, deaf. And that is from Sanskrit? Hindi. Hindi. She does seem to have a bunch of Hindi stuff here, and this is, yeah, deaf sometimes. So she's talking about somebody who can be deaf. There are chairs here. She is married. That's why our last name is Difference. They're all Cloudsleys. She married somebody who's a Cubert, but she's Rose Cubert. So let's go ahead and put that down. Uh, right here. Rose Cubert. That is the attorney. His name was Nicholas Maker. Nicholas Maker. All right, so we have two people left. All right. We got Edmund Cloudsley and Rose Cubert already accounted for. Which would mean this is Willard Wright or Peter Batley. Raging Sultan. That's the coachman. Red ring. He has a red ring. And he has a red ring. Hmm, let's look at some more. Aphorisms. It's an aphorism by Sebastian Cloudsley. How to be happy. Eat a hearty meal every day and do not waste your time on trivialities. How to avoid being upset. Strive for that which holds meaning and do not shrink from responsibility. How to be inspired. 
Take a walk in your forest and breathe the fresh air. How to avoid being scared. Feeling scared is a weakness. Be strong instead. Sebastian Cloudsley. Is that one that we're looking for? No. Reading of the Last Will and Testament of Sebastian Cloudsley. He's dead. Why is that highlighted? I guess we can grab these. All right, Edmund Rose. Willard Wright says associate. So he's not like part of this family. And Peter Batley is married to Beatrix Batley. Hmm. Oh, we got some stuff here. Somebody had spinning Jenny for 50 pounds. Dear Peter Batley, I've sent you frequent reminders concerning your settlement, your debt, and yet to date the debt remains unpaid. We humbly request that you make your payments as soon as possible or we will be forced to take the matter into our own hands. The debt stands at 255. Peter Batley is most likely this man because he has the He's got a betting problem. All right, let's continue. I, Sebastian Cloudsley of Blackfield County, being in bodily health and sound and disposing mind and memory, nominate and appoint Nicholas Maker as executor of my last will and testament. That's the document they treated so badly, they got mad at that. Clue has been added to the thinking panel. We met so rarely after you left for the colonies, therefore I bequeath to you my savings land in the Blackfield Man House. Come home and establish Manor House. Come home and establish a museum of my life and accomplishments. Late sister, your mother disclosed your financial troubles to me and I resolved to help you. I bequeath to you Compilation of my aphorisms clearly lack. Hmm. I want you to put your sharp mind to better use than mere politics. Therefore, I bequeath the notes from the research I've undertaken on astronomy. I grant you leave to finish and publish it. So these are to the various people. I bequeath to you the golden idol of Xenopolis. You will know what to do with it. Dear Willard Wright... Rose Cubert. All right, so I'm going to go off of Peter Baddeley is the gambling man. All right, so we're going to say you are Peter Baddeley. Uh, Peter. Where is it at? Baddeley. Which would make you Willard Wright. But first, let's go verify real quick by looking at this document again. Yeah, Peter was there, so Willard Wright is the last one. He's the associate. He's not actually part of this. So, thinking you are Willard Wright. Okay. Uh, we met so rarely after you left, therefore I bequeath you my savings land, Blackfield Manor, come home, establish a museum. I want you to put your sharp mind, therefore I bequeath you notes from my research I've taken on astronomy. I grant you leave to finish and publish it. My late sister, well, that's going to be, she's the only one, Rose Cubert. I bequeath to you the golden idol of Xenopolis. You will know what to do with it. That's going to be Willard. Right. Sharp mind to better use than politics. Notes from research. I think that's going to be Cloudsley, but let's check what he had on him again. Uh, you're seeking capable servants. From Theo. Yeah, politics. That's EC. So that's going to be Edmund Cloudsley sharp mind 
We met so rarely after you left for the colonies. Therefore, I bequeath to you my savings land and the Blackfield Manor House. So there's only four of them. Right? So this is going to be Peter Badley. Uh, disclose your financial trouble. My late sister, your mother, disclosed your financial. Oh! Peter Batley. My late sister, who was your mother, disclosed your financial troubles to me long ago. Peter Batley. Late sister was his mother? Let's verify this. Peter Batley. Late sister, Sebastian Cloudsley. His sister, yes, yeah, son, not married to Peter Batley. That's the son, because married to would be a different name back here, and that's how family trees work. Okay, so that's right. That is right, right, right. So, who... We got Edmund Peter Willard. Blackfield Manor House come establish a museum. That's got to be Rose Cubert. Yes. All right. So and so was blank to receive blank and blank blank's will. So this is going to be Sebastian. Uh, Sebastian... Cloudsley's will and ordered blank and blank and blank and blank to take the horse from blank and blank. Suddenly, blank and blank died from blank and blank. All right, so we know that part. James Pear died from spontaneous combustion. Blank and blank was to receive was happy, upset, or inspired. What is her take? Let's look at her. Is she happy? Because we met so rarely, therefore I bequeath to you my savings land in the Blackfield Manor House. Come establish a museum. We're set to receive. Aphorisms is the only thing that makes sense because everything else is singular. Set to receive happy house. Idle, inspired, research, scared, spontaneous. So it's going to be aphorisms. It's the only thing with S. So who was set to receive aphorisms? So Peter Baddeley. Batley. He was upset because he didn't get money, huh? That's probably it. Looks like he had a sword. What, the blazes? Yeah, he needed money. So he was set to receive aphorisms and got upset and ordered the Pear Brothers, right? So we're going to go ahead and say James Pear and Adam Pear to take the idol from Willard Wright. Was, he wasn't happy, he was upset. Hey, look at that, huh? This is a cool game, I'm really digging this. Freaking DLC is probably in the future for this one. No hints assessed. The scroll has been fulfilled. Peter Badley, encumbered by his gambling debts, had placed high hopes on his uncle's testament. Upon discovering he had inherited nothing but a book of aphorisms, he tore up the will and ordered his servants to take the golden statue from the stranger Willard. Suddenly, one of the servants burst into flames. Really cool.
Are you the same one we've already seen? Yes. Okay, next chapter. This is getting good. All right, so... Chapter 4? The Cursed Inheritance. The Murder at the Little Mermaid. Look at this house. Isn't it neat? Trap door in the ceiling. Another trap door. So we can go from here to here. Window. Why did that bugger give me a note when he knows damn well I can't read? Alright. Old rusty half of shears. Piece of stale bread. You can lie low for a couple of days in the old oarsman place down at the docks. So, did you stab this man? Let's go ahead and look at what happened at the body. Three stab wounds, it looks like. Man is not breathing. Has a ring with a ruby. And a walking cane. That's what that is. Man is not breathing. What about this window? Are you sounding an alarm? Alarm! Alarm! A break-in! You have a lantern. Watchman number two. Henry Parker! Watchman's alarm rattle. Watchman's spear. Alright, so assuming you're Henry Parker. Sarge of glass lie in the mud. This glass has been broken outward. Broken that way. Probably with this. So we know where Henry Parker is. Let's go ahead and label him. This is cool. I like this game. All right. Time. That's not time. That's a flower. Why? Why is this flower here? What's the significance? Revenge? R -r -r you didn't do it then. You can't read. This was busted out and then opened. Hmm. Notes? Dear proud beast master, I have attended our departed brother Sendoff and accepted the keepsake that he's bestowed upon our brotherhood in his will. I shall send this letter tomorrow, September 10. I hope it will reach you without delay. Already it's midnight. I will retire to my bed, for this has been a long day. May Griffin awaken. Proud beast initiate. All right, we got some weird cult stuff going on. I'm here for it. What is this? A washing bowl filled with a slightly bloody water. Slightly bloody water. He may have did this to himself. Slightly bloody water. Somebody washed up then? What is this? Idle shaped box? Makes a sound when opened. To my dear Maurice. You may be Maurice. This clock has stopped. He said it was at midnight. Watch is ticking, so it is going. So it's been a couple hours. The door does not open. There's a key in it. So nobody would have came this way unless they came through the trap doors here. We can go downstairs. This door does not open. These flowers will be significant, I'm sure. An empty bed, not warm. Oh, there's a whole bunch down here. Hey, it's a Fiji mermaid. And a narwhal. Alright, what about this door? The door to the street is shut with a latch. Okay. Where did that blasted boy go? I really need a piss. Large kitchen knife. Partially peeled lemon. 
Curious ring of keys. Okay, he has keys. Dear Oscar Boyton, it's come to our attention that the good owner of the Little Mermaid offers services to those who want to transfer products that are less agreeable to the authorities. We'll come back in three days. If you still have some spare space in your gin barrels and you're willing to earn extra money, reach out to me. Now, this means this guy is probably Oscar Boyton. But we don't want to make assumptions yet. Tab. Green has a tab for wine. Breach has a tab for wine. And Blair for wine. Wanted. Robert Redruth. Escape convict. Convict. That looks like this guy. Robert Redruth. That's him. That's the same picture. Now watch us find another guy that looks exactly like him. You know what? We're going to go ahead and say it. We can change it if we need to. This is Oscar Boyton. Little Mermaid in Amazing Evans's musical performance. September 9th, event still commence 11 p.m. But it's the 10th. Is that the same? Yeah, it is. So you are Evans's. Oh, mother, forgive me. I will never gamble with something so dear to me again. A Navaja folding blade. A key. A violin. Your last name is Evans? Pretty sure. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Evans. Now that says it'll commence on the 9th. It is the 10th, right? Just deal the next one. It's all luck anyway. Hand of cards. Remember, you as an agent of our trading company have to reflect its values to the fullest. Never be late. The client leaves the port on the 10th. Be persuasive. Do not take for an answer. No for an answer. We must get the client's product. Be effective. Once you have the product, deliver it to me immediately with the servant boy. Most importantly, no matter what you do, be mindful of our reputation. Our names must be remain spotless. We also have a key and a dagger, three shillings, two pence. What's on the table? This clue has been added. Wine, wine, and wine. They've been playing cards. So A G W W M E A G J B O B. This is the current game. A G J B A B. A G J B O B. Be calm, John. He was perfect, gentleman. He brought me a he bought me a drink and then retired upstairs. Tell me, what does that man have that I lack? So you are John. Did I click John? I don't think I clicked it. Calm John. She's talking about you. So you are John. Okay. Tell me what does that man have that I lack? Calm John. Alright, see what you got. You got cards, two shillings. This is Annie. Annie, you are beautiful like a rose, for I will take any blows. Annie, you are like a glass of wine. Your hair is very fine. I will find gold in mine if that makes you forever mine. In a mine. Your piglet full of love. Piglet, huh? You are Annie. All right, so Annie is you. 
Hmm. A G. Okay, so this is part of the evidence then. So you are probably Annie Green. If we go look at this, yeah, Annie Green. So we're gonna go green. And then we've got JB, so that's gonna be John Bridge or Blair, we don't know yet. Right, because that's the other two, Bridge and Blair. Alright, let's see what you got. You have a small sword. Some cards. A key. Seven pence. September 9th, Dandelion Room, Willard Wright, one night. Dandelion. Are you Willard Wright? You look like it, don't you? And that would be revenge for the pears, right? Yeah. So the dead man. Oh, we gotta go back down here and actually get the name. I keep forgetting to do that. Willard Wright. Okay, thinking. So he was the one that spontaneously combusted. That's a correct way of saying it. The other guy. So we got John something and blank blank. So this is going to be Ash Blair. Okay, so you are Ash Blair. Ash Blair makes you John Bridge. Now we're just looking at Evans. Is there a name we haven't used? Maurice. Who used the term Maurice? Where did we get that from? Is that from here? Where did we get Maurice from? Huh. Looking for Maurice. I don't know where we got that from. That's the cards. Was it upstairs? Was it like a letter? Proud Beast Master. Crazy. Don't like any of that. Where did we get Maurice from? You know, other than the Steve Miller song about being a space cowboy and all that. Empty bed, trap door, was that from here? Henry Parker. I don't know where we got Maurice from. You guys are probably screaming at me right now, but... I don't know where it's at. Man is not breathing. He was stabbed. Where did we get Maurice? I know it's Maurice Evans. I mean, it's the only name left. I just don't know where we got that from. Oh, mother, forgive me. I'll never gamble with something so dear to me again. You gotta be Maurice. Huh. Where did I get that from? He bought me a drink and then retired upstairs. Somebody's writing her notes. I don't know where we got the word, the name Maurice from, but I mean, that's his name. It has to be. Yes. All right, let's sort this. All right, so it was, went into Willard Wright's room. Now he went to bed, he's in a, 
he said he was going to bed and he's wearing like a sleeping cap hmm, we'll have to do this next episode thanks for watching if you enjoy my content please consider a like a comment and or subscribe stay tuned for next episode we'll see you then bye bye